You're working all day running carpool most nights. So when exactly are you supposed to exercise again? I'm a busy mom just like you. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to find time to exercise even with that busy schedule. And stay tuned until the end because you can grab my beginner weekly workout calendar. Hello all you amazing moms. I'm Natalie, owner of Fired Up Fitness, and on this channel, I give moms real life strategies to stay accountable and motivated to look, feel, and live better with a healthy lifestyle. If this is your goal, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell now for notifications. It took me six years to get back into working out after having kids. During that time, I envied my husband's free time to work out five days a week while here I was feeling drained from a stressful job, being mom, and taking care of the house. Ten years ago, when my girls were toddlers, I realized I was making excuses for not taking care of my body. So today, I'm going to share the five tips that allowed me to start exercising again consistently, even when I'm strapped for time. Tip number one, lose the all or nothing thinking. It's easy to talk yourself out of exercise when you put high or unrealistic expectations on what exercise should even look like in your life. It's a fixed mindset of thinking, I don't have an extra hour for a workout today, or I'm skipping because I don't have 30 minutes to drive to an exercise class, so I can't make it today. Switch over to a growth mindset instead, because let me tell you, you do not need an hour to work out, you do not need a gym or a class, and you don't even need equipment. Instead, you just need you and the desire to look, feel, and live better. To help you get over this thinking, try setting a bare minimum rule. So you want to set a goal for the number of days you're going to get in movement, but you also want to set the number of days that you have an absolute bare minimum when weeks get crazy busy, because you know that they're going to. But at least with a bare minimum, you're going to have that movement dial turned on even to a low level, but you're always going to get in some sort of movement each week. For example, my goal is to do a strength workout three days a week and walk five days a week, but my bare minimum is one workout and three walks. It gives me some flexibility on what I feel like I can handle when things are crazier than normal. There is no right or wrong on your bare minimum. You just want to incorporate even just one movement for that week. So now that we're throwing those excuses out the window, let's get to my second tip. Tip number two. Make movement a priority. Let's say your 40-year-old eyes aren't quite seen as well as they used to. I'm assuming your vision is pretty important to you though, so I'm thinking you're gonna make your eye appointment and get to it, right? Well, movement is no different. If we don't use our muscles, we will lose them, and you do start to lose them after the age of 35. If you want to continue to be able to do functional things, like bend over and pick up a laundry basket, sit and stand off of a toilet, um, be energetic when you get older to play with your grandkids someday, and you know the priority of movement really needs to start now to do all of these things. Just like you do with a doctor appointment, I want your workout to become that priority, and I want you to schedule your exercise into your calendar. I color code mine and just call it workout but I get my reminders for it, and it's just as important as any other appointment in my week. Be flexible when you need to as far as shifting exercise to less busy days when, when necessary or implementing your bare minimum rule, but otherwise really try to stick to that schedule. Tip three, be neat. And this stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis, big words. Neat involves all those activities that is not considered a workout or actual exercise. It looks like walking around while talking on the phone at work, fidgeting, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, stretching while watching TV, um, walking to and from your car in a parking lot, like parked farther away, standing versus sitting at work. Um, I know a lot of people like to do the standing desks now, and that's part of NEAT. Uh, cooking, vacuuming, picking up the house, and those are just a few of them. The more neat you put into your day, you actually burn more calories than you even realize. Studies have shown that the leanest people out there are using more neat each and every day. It's one of the easiest types of movement, movement that you can include in a busy schedule, and it allows you really to burn 
anywhere from an extra hundred to an extra thousand, yes I said thousand calories each day depending on your occupation. My go-to needs are parking for away and also walking around while I'm on the phone. I'm never sitting while I'm on the phone. Even in a busy day, what kind of meat could you see yourself doing? Let me know in those comments below. Back to the tips. Tip number four, start small. I mentioned earlier that you do not need to stress about exercising an hour each day. The older we get, over-exercising actually can cause more problems than good. So it's all about getting the most bang for your buck, or your time in this case. I'm pretty sure my clients would agree that they get a really good workout in their 25 minute circuits they do two to four times a week. I also really recommend as many walks as you can. It's such a great thing for keeping that stress down. Small habits are the foundation of all of my coaching. And when I say small, I mean teeny tiny if it needs to be. BJ Fogg created the tiny habits method and it's just a simple three-step breakdown of implementing a new change. So I just want to share it with you right now. First, you simplify the change and make it so small it seems silly. This could be like walking for three minutes. Next, find a spot in your existing routine that this new behavior can follow. This is going to be your trigger of this new habit. So you want to make a goal of your new action be something like this. After blank, I will blank. So for our example, it could be something like, after I finish lunch, I will walk three minutes. Seems simple enough, right? Lastly, you put that habit on repeat and it becomes automatic and begins to grow into a bigger goal like, well, I wanna walk for 20 minutes. With workouts, you could start as small as doing two push-ups or two squats. Maybe after you brush your teeth, for instance. Just pick a trigger action at the time of the day that you could actually see yourself allowing maybe like 20 or 30 minutes for a workout or some sort of movement, and then just work up to that goal over time. Tip number five, my favorite tip. Take advantage of twofers. If you're a busy mom, odds are that you are pretty awesome at multitasking. It's not always the best for our brain performance, but when it comes to putting exercise in a busy schedule, it is essential. A twofer satisfies two needs at the same time. In this case, one of our needs is exercising or movement, and the other need could be a number of things like leisure, stress relief, uh, meditation, learning for personal growth, or even work. And here are some tips to get you started with your twofers. Walking and listening to a walking meditation on YouTube. Walking and listening to a YouTube or podcast learning about something you're interested in. Walking and listening to an audiobook for pleasure. Walking with coworkers for a meeting instead of sitting in the office. I actually got this idea from one of my clients and I thought it was brilliant. Um, here's a couple more. Binge watching Netflix while stretching and foam rolling, or also binge watching Netflix while giving your abs or glutes a good burn. Trying to figure out how you're going to implement these tips into your busy schedule? Well, I want to share my printable weekly workout calendar with sample workouts that's going to help you stay on track and fit this movement into your busy schedule. You can download it now at www.firedupfitness.com forward slash workout calendar or click the link in the description below. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because in my next video, I'm putting that twofer tip into action and I'm going to show you how to squeeze a good workout in while watching Netflix. Oh yeah, that's what's going to happen. So if you're interested in that, make sure to hit that bell. Comment now with get moving if you're committed to adding time into your day for some exercise. I am so here to support you and make that happen. So comment now with get moving. Let's get fired up. Bye.